What's up guys? So if you're anything like me, you're always on the lookout for music. I'm a huge fan of music and I always wanted something that was Hellenic, polytheist related. So there's not really technically anything that's devotionally Hellenic polytheist out there in the music world that it has been released as an album. But there are some things that are pretty close that Hellenic polytheists may enjoy if they want to get into that spiritual mood. So there are two albums that I want to talk about today. One I just discovered a couple of days ago that I would really recommend that's very good. And another one is one that's in constant rotation on my phone. So let's check out those two albums and let's talk about that. And hopefully it'll give you some inspiration to go out and seek some music because there is music out there. And hopefully you guys will check these two albums out. So the first album I want to talk about is Athanatos. It is the uh, album I just found out about a couple of days ago, just doing a search on iTunes, and this was recommended to me. And I have really enjoyed this album. It's Athanatos by Bettina Joy de Guzman, or Guzman. I'll show you on my tablet what the album cover looks like. So, give you an idea of what to look for. And the way it looks, is pretty much the way it sounds. It is by Bettina, who is an artist with a very operatic voice. But the album may not be appealing if you're not into world music or the operatic style, but it's a very beautiful album. And some of the songs that are on this album I wanted to talk about to give your interest a peek, I guess, would be it would have Epitaph or Sikalos. Hymn to Aphrodite is the second track. Invocation to Aphrodite is the third track. And then they have many Circe Enchanted, or Circe Enchanting, or in Greek it would be Kyrki. And then track 16 is Hymn to Pythian Apollo. So a very highly recommended album that I've started putting in constant rotation when it comes to wanting to just be in that spiritual mode. I'll listen to this album when I'm taking a shower. I'll listen to this album while I'm driving down the road. When I'm thinking on the gods, it's a fantastic album. Both of these albums actually are, but definitely check out Athanatos by Bettina Joy de Guzman. And again, it is very much an operatic voice. She has a very beautiful style of singing. And it is music mostly with the lyre, because she plays the lyre, but it also has other instrumentation as well. And also some guest appearances. So if you know anything about Hellenic music and bringing back ancient hymns, here's another picture of her. Uh, Michael Levy, or Levy, is another artist who is very popular with the, playing the lyre and bringing back ancient hymns. So check out Michael Levy as well, but he makes a guest appearance on a few of these songs on this album. So a little throw in nod to him as well. Now my all time favorite Hellenic album that I have in constant rotation that I again discovered through iTunes and researching online that a lot of people recommend. Now this band you may have heard of because this is the go-to band that a lot of people would say this is the music if you want something Hellenic to listen to. That's Demonia Nymph. So Demonia Nymph has an album that I constantly listen to and it is called Psychostasia. Psychostasia is my favorite album of Demonia Neff. To give you an idea what that album cover looks like, it's right there. So Demonia Neff and Dias Arotas is my all-time favorite song. Spiritual mode or not, I always have Dias 
Arotas in my iPod, my phone, playing it all the time for fun. Dias Arotas is a fantastic song that's awesome. I think I'm going to put a link to that song for you to check it out in the description box of this video. That's how much I recommend that album. But definitely, if you guys are into the mood of wanting something spiritual that you hear, there are pagan albums out there, and there are Hindu albums out there, and other spiritualities have albums, and you want something to get you into that spiritual mood, in that spiritual mode. The two that I recommend that I really enjoy are the two that were mentioned in this. And definitely check out Damania Nymph. As far as I know, um, Belina Guzman has only one album on iTunes. I tried to look up to see what else she had, but they were singles. This one album, and then singles, and then it looks like the singles that were released were for this album, but maybe the singles came out first. I'm not 100% sure, but um, definitely check out these two artists in, these, in this band as well, Diamond and Inf. And also keep doing research. You can just look it up. I Google it. I'm always into seeing what else is out there. Not really too interested. There are some other genres, but um, not my cup of tea when it comes to what they offer. <laughs> I, I love metal and rock and uh, well, yeah, I'm a rock. I'm a metalhead. I mean, but there's just something about the way that these artists do it that speaks to me anyway guys if you guys know any more artists that i should check out that you would recommend that i can find on itunes for example or even on youtube just list to let me know anyway guys i'll talk to you later bye